Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a ln equation, an ln equation, or you can call it a log equation too. We did a similar problem 12 days ago. Hopefully you'll remember that. But this time I'm going to introduce a different method. Let's start with the first method. So my first method is kind of brute forcey. So bear with me on that. I'm going to use substitution, obviously, because substitution is cool. And here, I'm going to set both of these equal to another variable. How about y? I think we used y last time, so we can probably use z, right, instead of y. Okay, great. Now, I'm going to work on each equation separately first to get uh, x in terms of z, but I'll be getting two different expressions, and then I'm going to set them equal to each other. Hopefully that makes sense, right? Okay, so I'm going to be solving for x. First of all, ln ln x equals z. Now, since the base is e here, that means ln x is equal to e to the power z, and since the base is e again, that means x is equal to e to the power e to the power z. Awesome. Let's go ahead and work on this one now. We have log log x equals z. Since the base is 10, you know, when we don't write it, it's base 10. Hopefully you know that. Uh, we can say log x equals 10 to the power z by using the definition of logarithms. And then using the definition one more time, x becomes 10 to the power 10 to the power z. So we kind of have like a really interesting equation where it's kind of like e to the power e to the power something and then 10 to the power 10 to the power the same thing equals the same thing. Kind of like weird, but the answer is weird anyways. So let's go ahead and proceed by setting these equal to each other. And I want to keep the e on the left hand side because I'm going to ln both sides and ln is kind of cool. It's definitely cooler than log in my opinion. Anyways, so we get the following equality because they're both equal to x. And from here, uh, I want to get rid of um, the, all these exponents here. So I want to kind of bring these down. Why don't we ln both sides? ln e to the power e to the power z equals ln 10 to the power 10 to the power z. Now notice that here I can go ahead and bring these down because those are exponents. And by using the power rule, bring the e to the power z to the front, multiply that by ln e and bring this 10 to the power z and multiply by ln 10. But ln e is equal to 1. Come on, you don't even need to write it. But I did. So now go ahead and bring these together. Since they have the same exponent, I can kind of represent them like this. e divided by 10 to the power z. And that just equals ln 10. Now remember, ln 10 is a constant. z is in the exponent. So that means I have to use logs. If your variable is in the exponent, you must use logs. So let's go ahead and ln both sides one more time and that gives us ln e over 10 to the power z equals ln ln 10 so it's kind of like ln of ln awesome now we can go ahead and bring this z to the front and that gives us z times ln e over 10 equals ln ln 10 and finally we can just go ahead and isolate z from here but notice that this can be written as ln e minus ln 10 and ln e is equal to 1. Therefore, this just becomes uh, 1 minus ln 10. And upon division, z becomes ln, ln 10 divided by 1 minus ln 10. And that just becomes z, but I'm, am I looking for z? I don't think so, right? We are looking for x. But what is the relationship between x and z? Here we go x is equal to e to the power e to the power z or 10 to the power 10 to the power z. You can use either one, doesn't matter. The answer is going to be the same. That's supposed to be. But I'm going to use e because e is awesome. Uh, that's Euler's number. So x is equal to e to the power e to the power z. Therefore, x can be written as e to the power e to the power ln ln 10 divided by 1 minus ln 10. And obviously, this can be simplified because e to the power ln something is like e to the power ln x is equal to x. So by using that and kind of expressing the denominator as 1 over something, we can basically write the x as, uh, it's a little simpler than this, maybe, e to the power ln 10 to the power 1 over 
1 minus ln 10. They're equivalent. Try to prove it if you uh, didn't get it right away because it's good exercise. Okay, great. So that ends the first method. Let's go ahead and talk about the second method. And again, if you use 10, it wouldn't matter because you would get something equivalent. So my second method does not use substitution. It uses something else. And that's why I introduced, I wanted to introduce uh, this here because we did a similar problem 12 days ago, uh, but the methods were different. Uh, and that was, there was something that I did not use. And I'm going to use that today. And that is called C of B. Hopefully that made sense to you. It is called Cobb or change of base. Great. Change of base is a very important rule in logarithms and you should definitely know that. So it's a, this is how it works. If you have a log like A base B, you can basically write it as, let's say you, you want to convert it to uh, ln, you can write it as ln A over ln B. So the A goes here and the B goes here and you use the ln twice and you're done. That's pretty much it. And obviously ln can be replaced with log or any uh, any other logarithm with any base you want. Okay, great. But this time I want to use the um, E as a base, the natural log, uh, because everything is pretty much ln on the left-hand side, and I want to turn everything into ln on the right-hand side. So let's go ahead and write this as ln log x. Now remember, this is base 10, so the bottom is just going to be ln 10, right? B, B and A. Just think about it that way. Now, I want to go ahead and cross multiply here and that's going to give me, but I want to keep the ln 10 here on the left hand side of the left hand side or something like that. And now ln 10 is a constant. So can I just go ahead and move it to kind of make it an exponent? You know, normally we would move it to the front, but this time we don't want to get rid of the exponents. This is kind of like a reverse case. So I want to make it an exponent so that I end up with equality of ln. So ln something equals ln something else. That means they're equal, the arguments. So from here, we, we can get rid of the ln's, or you can say, hey, I want to do e to the power of both sides. Whatever you do, you end up with the following, ln x to the power ln 10 equals log x. Now, obviously, at this point, um, you, have the, you have the log x, and you kind of want to get rid of that. You want to turn it into ln again. But let's go ahead and use the change of base, and we can write log x as ln x, over ln 10, right? And just totally forget about it. So now let's go ahead and set up something here. Now we have the ln 10 as our coefficient. We can kind of put it in the front and then bring it over here, or you can do something slightly different. Let's go ahead and do the following. First, let me multiply both sides by ln 10. And then I get the following equation. And now instead of moving the two power, you could definitely do that, but I want to do something different. I want to divide both sides by ln x to the power ln 10. So let's go ahead and do it. Because we have two expressions with the same base, so we can go ahead and divide them. This becomes 1. Obviously, that, that's not 0, right? As long as x does not equal 1, of course. And you probably know that x equals 1 is not going to work. Or is that? Well, it's not in the domain because ln 1 is 0. Log 0 is ln 0 is undefined. Great, so one is not gonna work anyways. Now, what happens here? Look at the left-hand side, I mean the right-hand side, you know what I'm saying, right? It is. It becomes ln x to the power one minus ln 10, and that equals ln 10. Yay, we're almost there. From here, you can isolate ln x, that becomes ln x equals ln 10 to the power one over one minus ln 10. So what I did here was raise both sides to the power 1 over 1 minus ln 10, which kind of cancels this out because they're reciprocals. Make sense? Hopefully it does. But this is just ln x, and as you know, x is equal to e to the power ln x. Therefore, x is going to be e to the power ln 10 to the power 1 over 1 minus ln 10. And remember our expression when we had it first, we had it like this. It was kind of weird, but then we turned it into this one, and you notice that we get the same solution regardless. And we should always be getting the same solution even when we use different methods. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.